Hello, welcome to this channel. I'm Arman. I animate to the characters, environments, everything in Spine for game development. So mostly 2D stuff. Of course, the Spine is made for 2D animations. But yeah, let's get right to it. We will start from this one. Bao Chao. She moves up her feet in a robotic manner. If you can see this portion, it will go up almost horizontally this is not happening in real life instead you would have a little bit more like this so the heel would go up while the tip is there tip will continue moving and then we would see something like this at some point the ground is constantly moving and every frame you should see the foot is moving the same distance this is very true for game animations because programmers are moving your characters in a consistent speed. Consider that also both feet should move the same distance as you set the distance for your walk animation. Once you have that aligned, programmers can adjust the speed. Otherwise, the feet will just slide. It might not be very noticeable, especially if the character is very small. Most of animators do that mistake. They would add easings to the feet when they are contacting the ground. I don't see how she leans on that leg and how she, her knee is bending. This one is a little bit better. But the other one is she plants her leg already bent. This is not that what happens. She would plant her leg straight and then bend her knees. And all that will show that the body weight is going down on that leg with all that technical stuff you should always think of your character if it is delivering its essence like its behavior how it is it was designed i see a cute character how can i like enhance that and deliver that as a final experience you are animating to uh, deliver experience you are not animating to showcase your skills or you are not animating to just animate a standard walk cycle you need to plan everything and maybe find out the key poses that you want to work with maybe walk in front of the mirror another thing i want to mention here is this hair piece is looking too detached and is just doing a simple rotation in that plane uh, i would like to see more up and down and a little bit rotation you are showing this white area which gives a lot of contrast to us and it just attracts this hair looks really detached from her i'm not talking about this hair strand not at all because it doesn't attract too much but this one really does it looks like a tail or something hanging from her head it's not like naturally attached hair piece yeah about the eyes they need to look where she is walking right now she really looks like somebody is controlling her let's move forward with saya okay let's start from the feet they are going to up all the animals evolve to uh, save energy and this is where you would do because it routine task and you would just drag your foot almost over the ground to to save your energy if you run you might throw your leg a little bit higher because you actually use your leg inertia and it will go up a little bit but this is not the same here the moment you raise from the ground the, your leg is hanging and you would just use minimal uh, muscles here to just drag it along the only reason you actually bend your leg is because it would hit the ground so you would bend as much as the foot is just a little bit high on the ground uh, i'm talking about standard walk cycle there might be a little bit uh, artistic cartoonish walk cycles of course but i'm talking about realistic believable standard walk cycle that's something you can start from another issue is that the feet are doing this on the ground some, something like that they are just uh, floating on the ground this gives us feeling that she's walking on the snow or similar uh, sand maybe some, something not solid clearly i see a uh, very weak contact with the ground and it's not believable so this is your contact point i'm looking at this tip let's move forward frame by frame 
we are going down maybe fine we are on the ground we went below ground we go up and then we just continue that way another major issue is something broken with her up and down movement here i think it's an error it's not something you just did intentionally because here i can see torso and the character going up while her arm is staying there her right arm is staying few frames here at this point look at how fast he's changing the pose here and then she just stays there stays there and goes down normally instead of just uh, switching this far you could uh, make it a little bit in between here or closer to the final pose to show that it is like easing out there i'm not going to comment at this portion not related to the walk but i like the detail i really like that and that's actually saving your animation because it gives the character some some kind of feeling of what she's doing she clearly is playful and is working very happy and that's what is winning in your case also those details help you out i don't like how the knees are designed here um, i don't mind the arms actually they look uh, stylized which is fine but here i don't really see any reason you would draw this kind of knees here even this one you can see we have a knee and then some kind of bulging here which is supposed to be a muscle but do you really need to show muscles here i see your arms totally lack of muscles you clearly don't need that the only muscle you could show is just this one let's go back to the legs and see some other issue when you contact your leg with the ground this is a great pose but the next frame should be um the pose where she leans on that neck leg showing that knee is bending if you try to walk right now like this without bending your knee pretty sure your knees will hurt because you put all your weight on this knee and if you are not trained i'm pretty sure your knee will hurt here so you need to quickly adjust your knee and put that all weight on this bent portion to allow it to bend so you use all your muscles here to ease out your weight and after a few frames you can clearly see how you did that now you push up your body and it is ready to go up i think somewhere here it would also be the highest point of the body and then this is where it starts to fall this is the the highest moment i think and it would start to fall her body would uh, go down he's going down going down and then you catch it you sit on that leg this one you will sit on this leg now you bend it a little bit later it would sit and that leg is pushing clearly up to move her body up and that's repeating every time remember your character is actually falling all the time you just grab your weight with your feet and that should also reflect the posture because sometimes animators would do just uh, straight character moving and it's not believable this one is good because i see a little bit bent forward this is totally enough for this walk to ha happen and another thing here i see the moment we contact you put her uh, tip on the ground i think a little bit later so it happens in two frames i normally do in one frame but maybe two frames also can work but let's check this one so this is the contact no hitting no hitting and this took three frames i think this helps you uh, to show the weight more that she's grabbing the the ground let's move forward with benya if you look at this character at any frame you will see that it was designed having something in mind for example this is a wizard it's a girl i can see and she's holding a staff stuff is long enough and most likely she will walk with that stuff and not swing left and right that's the major issue yeah she is wise and she would not just uh, swing her arm left and right like that she would uh, maintain it uh, very uh, calm what i see here is this is very weird pose for the arm especially fingers are complementing that weird pose 
you don't need to attract attention with this arm but right now it really just does a little bit extra movement when it comes to front of the character about the staff i already mentioned you should make it walk on the ground it places then travels on the ground it picks up and places and travels on the ground up and down is good with the legs i can see how she plants her heel on the ground and then leans on that leg i can see the bending happening here but the problem is here is that i don't see her leg actually getting straight so this gives you a little bit weaker pose weaker walk she is a young wizard excited to do some magic she needs to go gracefully saving her energy but still has some kind of song in her body like some some kind of singing right now i see a, a teenager just dress it up as an adult and tries to walk like an adult and doing some comical walk or something it's it's not a good walk and the swinging of the head is actually contributing to that a lot in a bad way as i said all the animals always try to um, keep this portion static i'm not talking about the purples but this portion of the head to look where you walk and to not get dizzy or something she's not looking where she's going she just looks forward and her eye line constantly changing this is not something you would do um, another thing this skirt this dress is really not looking great i don't know how you would improve that but clearly right now it looks made from very thick material this is not fully your fault i think because designer also contributed here by rendering it uh, in a simple way just a simple gradient and let's talk about cape it is doing too much stuff it's not a main actor here you need to remember that so it swings too much there uh, without any reason and it is not good if it was good enough i would say okay that's great we are featuring it to show how how beautiful the cape is but it is not good it looks like a thick paper material or something like made from play-doh or and it breaks a perspective i'm not an artist myself as i don't know how to draw but clearly starting from this it goes down in a weird way this is not a perspective it would show on this cape instead I would see something the opposite maybe something like this if you add some bones here and add some bones here it doesn't mean that you need to rotate them you can also move them up and down and scale them just to mimic all that perspective it's really not the start or end keyframes or maybe in the middle you need to take care of sometimes you really need to intervene and control some poses here manually add some frames here and there to make it look nice it's your animation it's not like you just create keys and rely on spine to interpolate between them if you need you can just add all the frames like keyframe everything as long as you like the animation it takes eight frames for her to fully put her foot on the, and i'm still not sure if it is considered fully put because right after that she already is starting to move up her heel next one is yula what i like in this animation i can feel he's really sad and he is carrying heavy weight think of it it's a huge piano and you are balancing it on some surface of your spine and you would do everything to not move that point in the space when you walk the piano has a weight it has inertia it resists your movement it would fall from your spine so i would consider that frog knows about it and it would just try to not move this portion whatever way he moves he would not move this portion keep it maximum study let's say you have a plate big plate on your head and people say just walk whatever you do you would try to maintain this point as static as possible same thing happens if you balance something on your um, nose a long stick whatever you do your nose is always your uh, focus point and the other problem here is that frog's feet this walk would slide would do weird stuff when it moves in a game with constant speed programmers instead of moving character with a constant speed in the game they will have to stop the character every step 
and that's most likely not possible for programmers unless you transfer the root motion data to them directly. Foots at some point they just go again horizontally they move up this point I don't like that I would like to see more something like this contact pose and the tip goes below the ground at some point here I like the face of the frog I think this is the only one in the list where uh, the face is actually matching the, the animation walk cycle he's sad he's looking on the ground hopeless just waiting until he delivers the object. Animation would be a little bit interesting when the piano starts to slide a little bit and then he just adjusts his straps and just brings his back. Because yeah, this piano would not uh, move with his spine um, as perfect as it is now. And last animation is Hike's animation. I follow Hike on YouTube, he's a seasoned animator. He works in uh, mainstream uh, cartoons, TV series. I took it actually from his YouTube channel and he did not send it to me. But I want to show this animation to you as because it is very lightweight and just on a good note to show that uh, things can be better and when they are better they really make you happy. I hope you also get excited when you see a good animation. For example the hair. It's super nice and it moves up and down with the portions and very few animators in spine actually do this we tend to rotate the, the hair as we set up the bones and this creates some kind of uh, puppet like movement and hairs are not exactly like that as like this maybe it is too active but it's a style uh, I don't mind it it's really looking great uh, another thing I want you to pay attention is how she is rotating her head Remember I said rotating head is not convenient and evolution uh, brought us here. We don't want to move our head. Um, this is an exception because we have our eyes closed and we actually do not rotate our head like this. Maybe this would also work. But still her eyes are closed and she's giving us an impression of she's singing or listening to music or she's in happy place. She doesn't need to look. The moment we open her eyes you will see that we need to do an extra work here to make sure this is looking believable yeah hands are good arms are good i like that also of course we have power of pencil and we know how to draw which i don't and that gives us full uh, control over creativity and all that i really like the shapes i think the only issue i can see here right now is this character will not work uh, very good in the game because we see uh, in one frame she moves her leg almost half the cycle she would slide in the game but let's see how she plants her foot I see her leg is really stretched and then we should see her leg is bending here because she's shifting now all her weight that was falling on this leg and it will travel here now this muscle is activated and it is pushing back activating like this portion and pushing back her body and that's why body goes up <clears throat> until this point and it will just fall back again to catch with another leg and this is where she is sitting fully and will start going up back okay that was just a deconstruction I really like this animation. You can go ahead and follow this guy. He posts some cool dances, which we can do in spine. So if you like this content and you think I'm talking something reasonable, you can check my blog post about the walking animation, some mistakes that normally animators do. On my website, I will put the link uh, in the description following these nine tips of walking animation. That was it. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like the format and if I should make more similar videos. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.